everybody. It's Jerrodlin Jovan here with Hip Hop and Enterprise. Our podcast aimed at inspiring the leaders of tomorrow, brought to you by Black Enterprise. Here, we like to review the success stories of today's tastemakers to encourage those who dare to dream big. Today's episode is taking you inside the five principles to a revolutionary path of health, inner wealth, and knowledge of self, with none other than Noon Stick Ibomu, better known as Stick, of the hip hop duo Dit Prez. Join me in giving a warm welcome to Stick. How are you? I'm grateful, man. Good to be here. How you doing, Jocelyn? I'm well, I'm well, I'm grateful as well. I'm grateful for the book that you have released and just how you are using your platform to um, instill jewels and of of wisdom into our community. Cause you know, we're doing a lot of reverse reversing <laughs> in today's age. So, um, I mean, tell us why you felt like now was the time to release the five principles. Man, all spirit, you know what I mean? I've been on this journey 20 plus years, um, years ago, waking up in Brooklyn with gout and um, from my lifestyle of, of um, excess blunts and herb and alcohol and go partying hard and stress and all this stuff. And I woke up in my early 20s, you know what I mean? And I've been living a, 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 a revolutionary lifestyle since. And um, it just felt like, um, you know, my son is 21, um, believe it or not. And um, I just, I, certain things that I wanted to unpack, share with him, share with my my community, the world, you know what I mean? As I'm still a student learning, practicing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. And what do you think will be readers' main takeaway from the principles that you're sharing? They they probably be surprised at, at, at how much humor is is in the story, you know what I mean. But um, on the on the serious side, uh, that you know, health is a very much personal journey, right? And you know, there's all kind of diets and fads and trends out here. Um, everybody's saying this is the best thing smoking, and you know what I mean. But my journey has been that it's a custom fit. You know what I mean? Health is something, you know, and fitness is something that must fit you and culturally, mentally. Um, what time you got, you know, if you got kids or you don't have kids, you know, all of that plays a role in what kind, how your healthy lifestyle will look. And I really wanted to encourage people that to take ownership of your well-being in your own fly way. So, yeah. Now, tell us about your own personal journey to health and inner wealth. You know, you were doing this while being working in the entertainment industry. Tell us mm -hmm. how you navigated that. Well, yeah, like I was saying, you know, I wake up with gout. I learned that it's my my habits, you know, what I'm eating, smoking, drinking, um, and stressing. And I, um, that was an awakening. You know what I'm saying? And so I was right. I had one foot in the industry, one foot in the streets. And um, I, as I got plant-based, which is how I healed the gout, and I did certain internal things in that regard, um, I, I stumbled upon a, a Kung Fu school in Bed-Stuy in my neighborhood in Crown, right on the cusp of Crown Heights. And um, it felt like I'm supposed to walk right into that. And, and really finding that discipline and martial arts training at that time where I was fasting really gave me an anchor, you know what I mean? Something that I, I still respected because it ain't no it ain't no joke training in, in, in the fitness. So it was something I could wake up and respect myself for doing. And then you couldn't party all night and then show up to the dojo and, and get it done. You know what I mean? You had to make choices. And so uh, being a martial arts student, while also a hip hop artist, I think that's what gave me the discipline to stay on my dean, so to speak. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I didn't even I didn't even know that. And you know, Dead Prez is known for you know your revolutionary Afrocentric lyrics. Um, and and this is where we are now as a society. But you guys were doing this twenty plus years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, like once you guys made it big, did you find yourself? battling between staying true to your lyrics while also navigating the entertainment industry as a hip-hop artist yeah um 
No, nah, not like as far as staying true to our lyrics, like our, our position on liberation for our community and all that, like that's 100. I don't know how to be nothing else. You know what I mean? But what was challenging was uh, coming from a cultural direction. You know, I had a lot of mentors culturally in the movement, um, in the revolutionary organizations. I had that. And I can't deny that I had that. But I also had one foot in the streets, you know what I'm saying? And I was I was also influenced by a lot of the things in that regard. And so for me, choosing how to how to walk the walk I need to walk as a man and you know what I mean in my full self, like yeah, I struggled with that, which is why I would I would be frontline in the movement, but then I would be passing out drunk up under the table at the club, you know what I'm saying? Because I hadn't figured out that the revolution within my own self was just as important as the one around me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And um, so now what, what does it mean to be healthy? I wanted to ask you that. What does it mean to be healthy? Man, healthy, being healthy is about well-being in every aspect of who and what we are. You know what I mean? It's, it's um, mental fitness, right? And I talk about that in the book you know, mental strength. You know, we know strength, flexibility, endurance in the gym and vitality, right? And, and training physically, but mental strength, what is that? Um, mental flexibility, right? Mental endurance, right? Mental vitality. So, um, you know, that's a key foundational thing in any kind of healthy lifestyle is the mindset, how much that matters, right? Um, you know, health is... Um, you know, your nutrition, your how you nourish yourself, you know, and it's all, you know, mindset is principle one. Nourishment is principle two. And not just the food you eat, because that can change. It's not one diet fits all. You know, a baby don't eat the same as an athlete, as an elder, as a pregnant woman, right? It, it, nutrition changes, but it's all about nourishing what you want to flourish, right? So, um, Health is about finding your fitness. You know, I'm a long distance runner. I'm a martial artist. I'm in the boxing. Somebody else is in the weights. Somebody else is in the yoga or dance, right? right. Um, so finding your fitness. Health is about respect and rest, right? I'm a recovering grindaholic, right? I go hard. Um, but we have to learn how to appreciate that rest uh, helps us grind harder. You know what I'm saying? And and taking the time and respecting that salt bath and respecting the spa. You know what I mean? That's just as important as the gym. And then most important, the consistency. Health is about um, staying consistent. And, uh, you know, we can do something for two weeks or I used to do this in high school or whatever, but we fall off. So what I've discovered is the key to consistency is staying inspired, right? actually staying inspired like you feel when you watch Rocky like you feel you know when different motivational speaker might put it in your ear or your, your preacher or whoever might make you feel that for that moment how do we um, make that that spark into a flame that continues to burn so that's what you know health is about for me that's what my book really dives in deep to kind of you know uh, share share what I've been learning as a student yeah. in this life and so how did you go about selecting each principle and how long did it take you to decide like, you know, okay, this is going to be principle one and this is principle two, you know? I lived it in real time and I learned it in this sequence, mm -hmm. knowledge, nutrition, exercise, rest, and consistency. And I reflect and I do a lot with meditation. You do a lot of reflective uh, practices, right? And just over the years, I was just like, yo, there's some keys. As, I, as I'm studying different martial arts, different diets, you know, different um, wellness uh, and gurus and different things. I'm like, yo, I see some, some common principles within all of these right. things. And like, for example, for me, I was in jail when I discovered meditation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, that helped me make certain shifts mentally. That, that came first. Knowledge, Elijah Muhammad always said, knowledge is the foundation, right? So knowledge itself was the first thing. Like, hold on, look what you're doing to yourself, bro, with drinking and smoking and all that. You got gout, awareness, 
Then I said, well, how do I address that? It was became nutrition, right? Changed my diet, got on my plant-based gangster and, you know what I mean? Healed up, got my leg back, right? Now I want to move and use my leg. So now I'm walking, I'm running and I'm, I find Kung Fu. I'm, I'm breaking boards with that same leg. You feel me? And so I'm finding my fitness. And then you go hard, we go around the world, dead press, we hitting every continent. And I'm in the stress of that, you know, requires you to learn, you know, how to balance that and so forth. And then I realized over the years that the key I've, I've stayed inspired, Bruce Lee, um, uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, like I know what my inspirations are um, and I keep it around me. I, I'm on my audio books. You know what I mean? I got homies that are into the same lifestyle. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it just was like, boom, I could, I think I could share this as a paradigm that people can customize, you know? Right. And so you are sharing nutritional tips. You're sharing meal plans, defining your, uh, I like the term vegetarian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's a new one. Yep. Yes, yes. Like, what was your uh, research process like with coming up with the nutritional tips you were going to share? So, long time I've been. Um, my my children's mother is a, a holistic nutritionist. Okay. You know what I mean? And so she was a crucial part in my my evolution in in, in wellness. And so I, you know, just picking up game from her, um, and then on my own, um, I I went vegan for 10 years strict vegan and um and that was wonderful i healed up more energy than I ever got in the best shape of my life running um but then i started developing allergies and i, I won't give it all away but I, I i go into that in the book where um you, i had to realize that you know as powerful as vegan is it might not be for everybody every time all the time and so for me, the shift, the shift that I made, because I'm still very much plant forward, um, was what I ended up coining the term vegetarian, right? And um, and it's 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 a lot to do with um, how much water intake and how much water in your food, how much water is in the methods you cook, like steaming and boiling and um, poaching and things like that. So um, as well as just you know drinking water, right? So, you know, we get into that, but that's how I kind of have arrived at my own unique take on plant-based. I call it vegetarian. I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. I think I'm naturally a vegetarian uh, without mm -hmm. realizing it. But, mm -hmm. you know, now that you've ha added a term to it, mm -hmm. <laughs> we can, See? you know. And so now even with, um, you know, you're, you still do music and you've now expanded into a genre you call fit hop. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about it and what it represents. Fit hop is healthy gangster rap. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> fit hop is me channeling, like with Dead Prez, you know, we known to bang against the system. You know what I mean? We known to um, basically stand up for what we against. You know what I'm saying? In, in our music. And what I realized in my own personal life and in what I do with fit hop is I want I needed an outlet to talk about what I'm for, not just what I'm against, right? Mm -hmm. And so Fit Hop is all about, you know, this healthy lifestyle is, you know, meditation, running, boxing, martial arts, um, you know, uh, the way we eat, the mentality, the iron, taking it to the gym, you know, it's it's that kind of um subject matter, you know what I'm saying? I don't curse in Fit Hop. Um, based on a, a elder that passed away that was close to me, he he asked me, could I make, he was like, I love to add prayers, y'all, y'all go hard, but I want to play it for the babies. I want to, you know, let it get in more places. So I said, when I do fit hop, I'm just, I'm going to leave the curse words out. Still hard, still for the streets, still for the families, uh, but it's all about, you know, um, the healthy gangster lifestyle because nothing more gangster than taking control of your well-being. Right. Yeah, I'm here for it. And with the book and and the fit hop and and everything that you're doing, because even you know I, I I started even reposting some of your posts from Instagram onto my IG story, because the mess you know it's just it's it's real food, like you know it's real food for the mind and for the soul. Are mm -hmm. you looking to you know bridge a gap between hip hop and mental health? Yeah, for sure. 
uh, hip hop and well being in general. Hip hip hop and healthy living. That's my thing. That's my sweet spot. Those are my twin passions. And so I, I take this work seriously. I have fun, but I but I it's a spiritual thing that I that I know that I'm uniquely equipped to be in this space. And so um uh you know my partnerships even um in terms of brands, you know, I work with Lululemon mm-hmm. uh, as a brand partner of mine for a few years. Um Deodora, we just dropping a new sneaker collab that I did with them, a running sneaker in the RBG yellow. You know what I mean? And um I'm I'm just trying to navigate like and many other artists, and we talk about this in the book, um, you know, how how somebody like Wiz Khalifa is really into martial arts and Muay Thai or or Snoop has invested in Beyond Me. You know, there's tons of hip hop artists that recognize that. Mm-hmm. Even our roots, you know, people like Melly Mel, you know, if you see him, you know, from the message, you see him right now, he like super swole. And always been that kind of inspiration. LL, you know, how he used to always have his shirt off. So it's fitness, hip hop, wellness. It's all, you know, a bridge. And especially the mental aspect, because a lot of what we speak in our music, you know, we speak in life or we speak in death. So I feel like if we learn to speak to ourselves in an empowering way right. and put it to a beat, put it to an 808, you know what I mean? It's going to yeah. change the game. Yeah. 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 Speaking more life over ourselves and our community. Um, yeah. And you kind of got into my next question because, you know, many people think of, you know, you think of hip hop and you think of partying and drinking and smoking and and the deaths and the violence, you know, mm-hmm. but you are even sharing the history of the connection between health and hip hop. And I think you were kind of just touching on it. But can mm-hmm. you, can you just explain it if that's exactly what you were just saying? Yeah, so so interesting. Like as I was doing research, you know, a lot of this is lived my own lived experience. But the book is also my nerd side. Like I wanted to tap in to the roots of things and and you know get a get an opportunity to be a nerd about it. And so some interesting uh, things I saw, like for example, in the seventies there was a big running boom um, happening. Mm-hmm. The whole idea of just distance running and all that, that wasn't a thing in the 50s and 60s, right? 70s, that crap. Same as aerobics in the 80s, you know, the Jane Fonda fitness and VHS, all that. Well, we 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 all know that hip hop was born in the 70s and the 80s as well. And those two um, movements were influencing each other. You know, you see it in movies like Breaking, and in terms of how much dance was, you know, b-born and breaking was our the right. thing. Right. Um, it was that was influencing popular dance around the world, right. and that's what made it travel um, around the world because it was the physical body. It don't matter what language you speak in, right? So um, we've always been had that core, and and we grew up around the same booms. Um, and the Billy Blanks when you know he first was doing the Tabo, yes. you know Wu Tang came with you know, the martial arts. And so we always had this kinship, man. And I wanted to take some time. There's a chapter called Renaissance in my book where I really try to un- unfold that connection. So people don't see that this thing is something new. You know, it's trending now. Hip hop is the global voice around the world. Well-being is the number one growing industry in the world. But we've always had that that relationship. You know, I call it the well there age. Okay, another term. <laughs> Mm-hmm. We definitely need a TED talk on this, by the way. Uh, okay. Yeah, we, we need put a that TED... in the ether. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah we need a TED talk on this. Um, and so tell us about the RGB Fit Club and what's next with that. Okay, for sure. So RBG Fit Club is pretty much um a brand, a lifestyle uh, brand that was created to embody what we're talking about in the music to give people in the community something to identify with, you know what I mean? That's based on the the five principles, you know, mindset matters, listen to your gut, find your fitness, respect, rest, and stay inspired. So that's the healthy gangster lifestyle in a nutshell. And when you see the yellow and black inspired by Bruce Lee, of course, um, that's that's our mission in that movement is just give people something to um, live by, you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you so much for shining your light on our community. Continue to be that guiding light. 
I'm looking forward to everything that is coming from the five principles. I it resonated with me from just receiving the pitch and reading what a um, little bit I've had to read yet, but I am going to read that whole book because it's really good. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Blessings.